Hey, what's up, everybody? We're going to have a little fun here with this one. This is a very impromptu. I just uh, thought about uh, talking about guitar, and um, I wanted to kind of share some information regarding some of my influences on the instrument, and this is not really planned, so I'm just going to kind of try to go off the the uh, top of my mind. Um, first person I'd have to mention would be Eddie Van Halen. And um, reason being is I visited a friend when I was about, I think, 11 years old, and um, he had the Van Halen album, the first one. And like David Lee Roth was like, like uh, sprawled backwards, and Eddie Van Halen was all, you know pissed off looking and he had a guitar with a bunch of stripes on it and I thought wow that's really cool you know I knew Jimmy Page, Jimi Hendrix, I knew of these guys but uh, this guy looked different you know he was like young and crazy or something so um, my buddy played me on the uh, vinyl now this is gonna date myself a little bit it was an actual turntable where you put the arm and needle onto the record and um, he played Eruption for me. And um, at that point in time, I knew actually zero about guitar and um, as far as playing it. And I just thought, wow, this, this sounds incredible. What the hell's going on here? What is he doing? And he was doing all the tapping and all that stuff. And lo and behold, I got into more of their music. I bought all their albums. I had all their Van Halen albums on vinyl. And I used to sleep. Um, I used to put them down onto the record and just let them play all night long. I used to sleep to Van Halen. Um, so it just became ingrained in my brain. And <laughs> and I started, uh, I got a guitar from my um, grandfather he had it up in the attic collecting dust and um, I had some poker chips you know like the those circle chips you play poker with and um, I didn't actually have a pick so I just used poker chips and, and uh, played on this old silver tone um, kind of a, a smaller scale uh, guitar and then you know I just kind of took some lessons for about three months and uh, the teacher's like, well, you got to get a different guitar because the action was like that high off the neck and my hands, my fingers were bleeding and the thing never stayed in tune. So so eventually I got um, a, a Fender Strat and then I quickly traded that in for a Kramer Focus guitar, which was one of the old Kramers um, that was white, like the Van, Van Halen thing, you know? And um, then I heard... Um, other players like uh, Jeff Beck and um, from Van Halen, you know, I kind of segued into the guitar world and then I, uh, you know, started listening more to people like Clapton and, and guys that uh, had that real emotive um, style and um, Journey, Neil Schoen, uh turned on very, uh, very much to Neil and his style and you know, the tasteful phrasing. And um, George Lynch, uh, Dokken came out and I was all over Dokken. And um, Rat with Warren Demartini on, on guitar. And those guys, George Lynch and Warren Demartini, kind of from that Jakey e. Lee, Randy Rhodes-esque um, LA guitar school. Very, very cool guys. All of them busted their humps to to get where they were or where they are today. So I just had a lot of uh, admiration for them. And um, in retrospect, some of their stuff may seem a little corny or um, kind of um, simplistic um, looking back. But, you know, at that point in time, uh, guitar was pretty much a mystery to me. Um, I had no idea uh, until after I'd played about six years and then I went to GIT after those six years, and then I like was around people like Paul Gilbert, there was Jason Becker was there once in a while, um, Marty Friedman, um, 
kind of these shredder guys. And then my buddy played me the <coughs> the bootleg uh, recording from some live show in Memphis with Sean Lane and his band. And so I got turned on to Sean Lane, the late Sean Lane, rest in peace. Uh, fantastic player. Um, passed in 2002. Um, Sean Lane, another monster. So just kind of segued from guys that I thought were, you know, inspirational. And um, definitely can't forget um, Ingve Malmsteen. Um, I remember one time I was at a buddy's house and he had a, an Alcatraz album. And it was like, I think it was called No Parole for Rock and Roll or something. I mean, I know what it's called now, but back then I was like, oh, okay, no parole for rock and roll. What does that mean? And I read the guy's name, and it was like Yingwe something Malmsteen. I'm like, Malmsteen? I didn't even know how to say the name. And he's like, yeah, check this out. And he played it for me. And um, I flipped out. So, you know, I just got into Ingve, you know, a lot. Um, Kind of blended that the the elements of technique and and, and speed um, into technique with phrasing as well. So I just kind of try to combine them. Of course, I listen to people like Steve Vai, Joe Satriani. I met Joe, very nice guy, sweetest guy in the world. Um, actually, called me an all star. I was blown away. I haven't met Steve yet though. I, I think I just said that, but. Um, you know, now, you know, the guitar is evolving. It's a rather, it's a rather young concept. It's only been around for, what, 40 years or something, the electric guitar? Um, so, or thir whatever. Uh, but, you know, it's, you've got players today. Um, I, I, of course, I like Chris Poland. Um, Chris Poland's fantastic. Guthrie Govan is great. Frank Gimbali, um you got players like Daniel Daniel Guitardo, um, and um, all kinds of uh, different people branching out. Um, Greg Howe um, and, and, and Tony McAlpine, uh, one of my favorite players, because I think Tony represents um, kind of a blend of the technique, musicality, composition versus um, the speed and um, and fluidity, but that's pretty much how it worked for me. I mean, I just it's like the guitar called me. You know what I mean? I didn't like set out and go, you know, I want to start and I'm going to be a guitar player. It just hits like lightning, and fortunately, it hit me in my uh, formative stages, and I needed an outlet. I was, uh, I'm rather, rather little in stature and I was quite competitive in sports. So what happened is the doctor said, you got to figure out something else you're going to do with your time, kid, because uh, you're going to get killed uh, doing this stuff. So it was a perfect time for me to be saved by the grace and, um, and uh, power of the electric guitar. Um, I love acoustic. I listen to all kinds of acoustic stuff, whatever. I mean, I could go into a million players. And I just wanted to sum it up. I believe that guitar is infinite and there is no st styles or genres. Everybody does their own thing and everybody has their own voice. Some people are more proficient in certain departments and other people are less, whatever, it doesn't matter. What matters is, is that the people that play are called to play it and they enjoy it and they continue to grow and uh, be a part of the community and share their, their little ditties and songs on YouTube. God bless you guys. I'm really fortunate. If you stuck it out with me this long, I really appreciate it. Take care. Hope I didn't bore you to death. Keep shredding.